video if it's your first time here my name is Tracy and I'm usually trying to lose weight following the slimming world plan um, although it's been a lot of gaining so I've been trying calorie counting for the last two weeks so yeah uh, welcome if it's your first time here and if you've if you've been here before thank you for coming back so like I said the last two weeks I have um, given calorie counting a go so how has it gone? Um, right, so the first day I started on the Monday, two weeks ago, it was, I did really well. Um, I stuck within calories for the day. The Tuesday, I woke up with um, the I can't be bothered attitude and I think I just ate my way through chocolate during the day. Then I had some sandwiches um, for my tea. And I, um, I still put everything in the app at the end of the day, and I was still, I still had ten calories left. Um, so yeah, those two days were alright. I was within calories, uh, but it went steadily downhill from then on. Um, I realised that uh, it's even harder than Slimming World. All the counting and checking and weighing. Um, and not just that, I found that the foods that I really wanted to eat was so high in calories. Like I wanted salmon one day. And um, for two of the little, you know, the thin pieces that you get from such as Aldi, it was over 500 calories for two pieces. And then if you had something else on with it, like chips and uh, some veg, you're looking like 750 maybe more calories depending on the size of your portion of chips um, so yeah I've, I've been on and off I've, I've stuck to it and on and off for the last two weeks and I must admit I, found, I have found it difficult and I've come to the conclusion that the type of foods I like are the type of foods that I can eat on Slimming World your fish such as your salmon, your steak, your mince, your chicken, chips. Um, yeah, I love all that type of food. It's the type of food I eat all the time. Um, whether I'm sticking to plan or not, it's still the, mainly the type of food that I eat. So yeah, it looks like um, I'm going back. I'm going back to Slimming World. It's just it, it, I wanted something that was easier while everything's going on with my dad. Um, and, and calorie counting, don't get me wrong, it is easier in the fact that you can just go and grab something. Like a few days I've just grabbed like pre-packed sandwiches or pre-packed pasta pots from the shop. Um, but it is really easy in that way. But I just didn't find it easy in that... Um, the portions were the portions were probably correct um, probably the correct portion sizes that I should have been eating um, but they weren't what you could have on Slimming World um, and yeah I know a lot of people say that you just you overeat on Slimming World because there's no, sort of no portion control but yeah I'm, what can I say I've got a big appetite I always have had right from being right from being young really um, yeah so I think for now I'm just gonna <clears throat> I'm gonna stick with what I know um, I mean I'm not right good at the moment at sticking to absolutely anything so um, I don't suppose it really matters which diet plan I'm following I've had a another rough week with my dad um, well a rough couple of weeks really uh, I took him back to the doctors he's having appointments every two weeks at the moment, having a review every two weeks um, I took him back on Friday and um, basically when they sent him for a brain scan and um, 
when those results came back we saw one doctor and um, she said that there was something that showed up on the brain scan but it looked like some old scar tissue and I said oh well he had a, a mini stroke back in sort of 2002 and she said oh yeah that will, that'll be it um, and then when we went this time that doctor's left she was just a locum and we saw a different one and he said to me, I said, oh, your dad's had a scan. And I said, yeah, they didn't find anything except some um, old scar tissue, which would have been caused from his stroke. And the doctor said, no, that he, that mini stroke wouldn't have shown up on a brain scan. Um, and then, but, oh, I didn't, I didn't really say, well, what could it be? Um, but when we got back, the doctor rung up and he said... Um, I want him to go for a more in-depth brain scan uh, to try and find out what that thing is that we can see on the scan. So I don't know, it was a CT scan he had last time, so I don't know what type of, I don't know if this will be like, um, oh, what do they call it? Uh, MRI scan? Could that be what they're doing this time? So, yeah. Anyway, they're rush, rushing it through again, and um, he should have been in and be, been seen and got his results back by a week on Friday when we're back at the doctor's. So, yeah, we'll see what that throws up. Um, so, yeah, um, I didn't do, I haven't done a weight. I'm not doing a weigh-in video. Uh, I think I'm about a pound heavier than I was when I weighed in the other week. Or I've maybe stayed the same. Um, but hopefully I'll um, start doing them regular again. So, yeah, um, that's about it. Um, nothing else to say, really. Uh, so, yeah, um, like I say, thank you very much, all of you, for sticking with me through the ups and the downs. It seems to be mainly downs at the moment, but um, I'm sure it will get better. Um, I hope you've all had fantastic losses and that you're managing to stick to it a lot better than I am. And um, yeah, and I will see you soon. Bye.